the molecule we were given is NCl3. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, and chlorine has seven. We need to multiply it by three, since we're given three chlorines initially, making a total of 26 valence electrons. Using the valence electrons, we can now draw the Lewis structure of this molecule. We have three bonds, along with two lone pairs that we need to show. Make sure to draw the valence electrons along the chlorine and here we have 26 valence electrons in total. Here we have the Vesper diagram drawn on the left. This would be considered a tetrahedral electron geometry shape for this molecule. We want to focus on this geometry in order to draw the energy diagrams and the contour diagrams later on. All of the angles in this tetrahedral shape are 107 degrees and are being pushed down by the lone pairs up above the nitrogen atom. To draw the contour diagram and the energy box diagram later on. Here we have the energy diagram drawn, and nitrogen is our central atom in its ground state. It has a promoted electron that is on the 2s orbital, gets promoted onto the 2p orbital, and those electrons here undergo hybridization and the 1s, 2s, 2p orbitals on the right are nitrogen in its excited state. Now it's time to draw nitrogen in its bonded state. So on the next page we will continue this. Here we have now, now drawn nitrogen in its bonded state. And notice that the chlorine lone valence electron filled in the sp3 orbital making them all full and since we had a tetrahedral electron geometry it is an sp3 orbital the bond pairs being these three here and we end up with one lone pair as we had shown previously on the Lewis dot structure. Now here we have shown the diagram of the Vesper shape of NCL3. Notice we're showing the lone pairs like we had shown in the electron box diagram. And these are all the other bonded pairs between the Cl and the nitrogen. These angles are being pushed down and they are at 107 degrees. And we have concluded 
that this was a tetrahedral. Electron geometry shape, which is our primary focus for now the contour diagram that is shown on the right, showing the overlapping regions here in the middle, these here being the SP3 and these figure eight shapes being the CL. Since CL is in a P orbital, it takes the shape of a figure eight. The SP3 shapes are found here, overlapping themselves in the center. Now what's also important to point out is that the application that we used here only shows the bonded pairs. The lone pairs should be here on top in this region. And the app didn't show that, so I wanted to draw that to make it clear that we still have lone pairs present that should be shown on a contour diagram. And this concludes my presentation of NCL3.